Hello guys, um, this is Amit, and today I'm going to be talking about Syslog NG, which is kind of like a Swiss army knife of log management. With Syslog NG, you can collect logs from any sources, process them in real time, and deliver them to a wide variety of destinations, which can include like a file destination, databases of different kinds, Java destinations, and like, you know, Elasticsearch and stuff. Um, and Syslog NG is a very high speed log processing parsing tool that allows you to collect, parse, classify, rewrite, and correlate logs from across your infrastructure. And you can either restore or route them to further destinations. You can configure it as a relay or you can just configure it as a destination. So it's pretty um, cool and scalable tool for in terms of log management. Um, there's an open source addition and there's a premium addition. So we're going to be downloading, compiling, and building the open source addition. In the next couple of series, I'm going to show you how to build your own log collection platform to monitor your either your home or your small business or you know, a, a collection of infrastructure. So without further delay, let's get started. So when it comes to installation of the syslog ng, you can either download the source code and build the syslog ng uh, depending on what options you want, or you can just you know download an RPM from uh, different sources. There's probably syslog ng RPM, and then you should be able to download the so. Here you go. Um, there's probably third-party binaries uh, pays, uh, and you can find RPMs for different operating systems. But in this video, we're going to be downloading the source code and uh, installing, compiling, and building the syslog ng. So this is where you can get the syslog ng source code, GitHub, Balabit, syslog ng releases. So um, you can just right click here, copy link address and duplicate the file. I've already downloaded it. I usually like to put them in USR local SRC. I have it here on the syslog ng. Um, I've extracted it. So let me just remove this for now. And you can always tar minus the XVF um, syslog ng. So um, now we can go into the syslog ng directory. There is a configure script that you can run to configure the syslog ng based on your preferences. Um, there's a lot of different options. If you look at the help, you can see that there are um, some fine tuning of the installation directories and there's the program name. You can add suffix or prefix to it. And then the biggest thing is optional features where you are going to be enabling or disabling a lot of the features that you want. So it gives you an idea of what is enabled by default and what's not. So if you needed anything that's not enabled by default, then you would have to pass these enable options. So in this case, we're going to be compiling with Java support uh, because, you know, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to build a platform to, you know, manage, view, analyze logs and also create like our dashboards and stuff. Um, we are going to use a couple of options here. Um, so like, you know, if you wanted to store into a MongoDB, you can do the MongoDB options. We're not going to do that here. We're going to enable the Java and the Java modules option. Modules, just because in the next video, we'll configure Elasticsearch as a destination to send the logs to. Then you can also do the enable GOIP2 parser. So uh, here's the enable GOIP2. It's the new GOIP support. It can convert your IP address into location information. So you can create heat maps and stuff. And then we do want to enable the system D because we're on CentOS 7. And then I usually like to set the prefix to slash, so it's related to slash wherever the installation is done and the libraries. And then I like to put the um, the configuration file into Etsy, just like other applications. So we'll do that. And we also want to enable the format JSON and the JSON, so we have the ability to use JSON parser. 
So the um, uh, enable Java and Java modules. Let's just use the Java destination and Java modules. This is for the GOIP. Uh, enable system D, use the prefix slash the sysconfig directory to be syslog ng, and then we use the JSON format. Just so you know, in order to use the Java stuff with syslog ng in order to build it, you have to install the openjdk devil package. I've already installed that, but you know, you should be able to install yum install java 1.8.0 openjdk devil. So this should actually uh, let you install the, so like if you look at here, so yum install java 1.80 openjdk devil, that'll let you install the um, java jdk package. And you also need the JSON C devil, uh, JSON C devil package for JSON support. And one more thing is you also need the Gradle to be able to build this syslog ng with Java module support. So in order to install the Gradle, you're going to have to download Gradle. So I've already opened this here on Gradle.org uh, releases. You can find the Gradle here, binary only. I have already downloaded that as well. So we've got the Gradle here. And on one more thing is this UIP parser uses the MaxMind lib MaxMind database. So you can either download and compile this or you can install the IPL repository and then install it from YAM. So now let's get to, in order to be able to, you know, compile and build the syslog ng, we need the Gradle first. So we'll do the Gradle. R minus JXPF Gradle. So, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a JIP archive, so we're going to have to unjip it. That's it. So, Gradle, here we go into that. And so, actually, this already comes with a binary package. You don't really have to build it. So, you can just, you know, export the path. Uh, path equals use whatever existing path plus user local src gradle and then uh, we've got the bin folder so now if we do the gradle minus v we can see that you know gradle 3.4.1 is available uh, let's get back to the syslog ng folder and run our configure here um We'll go ahead and configure um, it with all the options that we want it to build with. You can see what is being configured. So the, you know, 3.18 one, and then all these, you know, different features that we have enabled. So we've got the server mode, you know, um, if we look at here, system, the support, none, label Mongo client options, yes. And you can see that, you know, JSON support is enabled. We've got the GOIP2 support and we've got the Java support. So if you need anything else, you know, you can just enable those. Now we're going to run the make. So, you know, uh, it starts compiling the source code and then create the binaries and the libraries. So the Gradle's downloading all the required um, modules and stuff for the Java support. As you can see, the build is successful here. Um, you can see the build is successful. So um, we can go ahead and so the build is successful. So we can go ahead and make install now. So let's go ahead and actually install it. The installation is now complete. So um, based on our options, if we go to the syslog ng folder, we can see that, you know, um, there's the, this is the actual syslog ng config file here. 
Um, there's a pattern DB dot D folder, which can, you know, you can house the um, pattern DB XML file used to parse the um, log messages in the syslog ng. Now let's take a look at the syslog ng dot com file. Um, there's basically, you know, in a very basic setting, there's three major components, the source, the destination, and the log statement. So the source is where you define all the different kinds of log sources. So when you do the source as local and then system and internal. Um, so it's the system logs, internal is the internal syslog ng logs. And then in the sys, um, source s underscore network here, you can define the TCP and UDP sources. So once you define this, that's when the syslog ng starts listening on the, you know, either the TCP or the UDP ports. We will try and do that in the next video. Um, but for now, let's just continue with this. Um, the destination D local. It defines here, in this case, it's defining var log messages as one of the destination and then the uh, var log messages dash kv dot log with this template is the second destination. So it's basically sending all the logs in a key value pair into this def um, destination. And then the log statement actually connects the source and the destination. So in between here, you can do different kinds of parsing. You can do correlation. You can do alerting. You know, you can do a whole bunch of different things. Um, we'll cover those in the next videos as we proceed further with our setup. So this is how syslog ng is compiled and built. And this is the basic, you know, syslog ng configuration that sips with the installation. I hope you liked this video and was useful. In the next video, we'll set up, you know, uh, further options into the syslog ng. We'll build Elasticsearch destination. We'll build Elasticsearch and we will send logs into Elasticsearch and we will install Kibana as our front end to manage, visualize and, you know, analyze the logs. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and share, like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.